Hey there. Um, I have an important question to ask today, and it's a question that I've been asking myself quite a lot recently. And that question is, am I becoming less creative? And as agencies, do we actually have to become less creative to become more insightful? So let me give you some context for this. Um, and I'm positioning it at a time when, you know, we've had a recent article based on a report in Fierce Pharma um, that suggests that only 4% of digital initiatives or products developed by pharma to support marketing and communication and education and things like that um, are actually successful. Um, so let me give you a bit of background and why I'm coming up with this question about creativity and how we approach it. Um, you know, over the last two years, I've been learning a lot about becoming a better marketeer, you know, about how to embrace new technologies and methodologies from other industries, um, you know, just to create better, more effective evidence based campaigns for um, healthcare professionals. And in doing so, I've started questioning some of the values of traditional creative or advertising agencies who dream and talk of being disruptive, bold, daring different out there you know and I've really started to admire more those agencies who build their values on insight and don't get me wrong you know in doing this um you know it's 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 kind of made me fall out of love with those words myself and I I really love coming up with those big ticket ideas those out there things for clients they want to try something new you know you look at those initiatives like you know VR experiences, immersive video, you know, gamification of, say, patient management, all those many different types of, you know, intuitive apps that have been developed to support healthcare professionals with their brand engagement. Just those opportunities to just do more out of the box creative initiatives, um, you know, that have really been designed to reach audiences who have become increasingly disengaged with pharma and biotech content. And, you know, it's an interesting strategy, um, even though it's one that's very popular and, you know, a lot of our clients and agency clients really want those creative brainstorm and idea sessions, because effectively what you're doing is getting a bunch of people in a room and you're kind of throwing ideas at a wall, often quite expensive ideas and just hoping they kind of work. And, you know, sometimes they cost a lot of money. And, you know, do they actually do anything? Um, do they actually help our clients' businesses? And the report that I've looked at actually says, well, you know, no, it doesn't. Um, and, you know, that's actually my experience as well, to be quite honest. You know, we can see here that only 4%, uh, you know, I'll, I'll share a link to this article, but you can read the actual report as well, but it's quite interesting read. But only 4% of um, digital marketing, communication, education initiatives are actually um, successful. So that means 96% of them uh, fail. And to me, this is a real wake up call. I think, you know, it's a, we need to start thinking very differently about how we start do our strategic planning process. And whilst I've slowly becoming, started becoming less maybe creative in the way that I think, I've also started becoming more insightful, you know, more customer centric. And I think it's time, um, you know, in agencies and in pharma to start rethinking how we approach marketing and comm strategy you know to put simply i think we should start asking healthcare professionals what they want uh, and we should also start really looking at how healthcare professionals engage with our existing content in the real world before we start coming up with new ideas to me the the you know the thought that a pharma brand team and a creative agency can you know land upon a creative idea um, that will suddenly transform the way an oncologist treats her patience is 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 quite outrageous and i'm fairly certain that many creative campaigns or digital initiatives produced by agencies and their clients would actually be laughed at by their intended audience and i dare say that even some of those that are doing well or even receiving awards may also you know not get a good reception from the actual audience that is intended to receive it so I think when developing our tactical strategies, our user journeys, um, you know, our assets that our, our end customers will actually engage with, um, we really need to do um, a, dis a, a detailed kind of discovery phase uh, before we start strategizing. That's not just looking at market research, but diving a lot deeper and actually working together with our customers. And sometimes even our account managers, those people who are very close to, to customers, um, in order to really deeply understand what your audience's goals are 
uh, what they're willing to engage with, what their experiences are with your existing business, and find that unique crossover that shows that your product or service can support them in achieving those goals. And the second thing we need to do is really um, review the analytics and the data on how our current campaigns are running um, to see if we can optimize them and improve them over time rather than just starting afresh with brand new creative ideas. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Um, but as a result of becoming more insightful and focusing on detailed discovery and analysis, um, sometimes the results of that process aren't quite as fun. And maybe that's what I've been feeling. Um, and um, you know, we actually end up doing less stuff, but with more focus, which might be music for some people's ears. Uh, maybe we'll find out that you know our publication summaries, um, our educational webinars are actually the best lead generating tactic that we could wish for. And that maybe a 10 page e-detail is better than a 300 page e-detail. And we don't get to build that massive yearly uh, updated e-detail that we all love doing. So, you know, it, we, we might find that actually we should can that VR uh, training idea that we had or that AR dosing calculator uh, in place of some pub summaries, you know, uh, and it sounds a little bit more boring and kind of less creative. So, Hence the question, um, am I becoming less creative? Um, is our agency becoming less creative? Um, or are we just becoming more insightful? So what's more important to you? Um, is it creativity and out there ideas? Um, or is it insightful strategy? Or is it a bit of both? 